I do a lot of spreadsheet work. I do a lot of video editing. I do a lot of other things. And I appreciate large screens. If you can look up here, you can see that I have a 34 inch ultra wide 1440p. And over here I have a 4K 27 inch. And that's great. It makes my desktop really nice. And then sometimes I work on my laptop and it can be a massive pain to do things that require multiple screens to be efficient, meaning I have to constantly flip between pages. Back in my day, we didn't have such things as laptops that would have accessories that are triple screens, but now you do. Siaviala, Siaviala, uh, S6 triple screen. But they do have cool setups here, so you can do different things. They're easy to switch around here. Uh, that's the traditional one. You know, you have your laptop in the middle, two on each side in uh, landscape. You can do dual portrait or one on the other. I don't have any affiliate with these guys at all, um, but if I can find some like Amazon or AliExpress or something, I'll put some affiliate links down. S6 user guide. Race two. Well, that's cool. I never thought about that. Yeah, you can kind of stack them on top of each other. That's cool. I like that actually. Yeah, so you know, you put the, the centerpiece down, you can get like a dual screen setup. That's cool. I never even thought about that. So it is a full kind of deal here, right? These, it's, there's a lot of metal on here, by the way. So it's not going to weigh, you know, like half a pound or something. There's a little bit of weight here. I mean, we have two screens with connectors there, and that is metal. So it is nice to have a little handle here, carry around with you. You can put it in a backpack, of course. But we have uh, USB C with display. Uh, this has DP, but it's display in general. So my laptop does have that. A couple more USB C. There's, a, there's actually a power thing there. Same with this here. It's firm, very, very firm, but not like grimy or anything. It just feels like it should be. That's good. And then that's the stand there, like that. So the laptop, this is the back side. The laptop's gonna be on this side. These are gonna open up, but this is basically what you get here. So you are gonna need a little bit of a footprint, not much to be honest. Like, so if you set this up like that, for example, you do increase a little bit of the back footprint of the laptop, you know, whereas a laptop is, you know, this here, you stick this out, you have a little bit behind there. But the nice thing about these here is you don't necessarily need more footprint on the side of the laptop. So that's the actual footprint additive there. Just a lot of little, a lot of little things going on here, right? So those little grooves there, grooves there, so that when you're traveling, you can put them back together like that. That's cool. Okay, so as you can see, there's backs on each side. So the easy part here is you just take this like this and switch my hand around because it's inverted and just slide that in. That's all you gotta do. All right, like that. One more, click. That's good. Right now, um, I have tested some of these before. Um, so before we even get the computer set up, I'm going to show you one thing that's cool about these is they do have the pivot right on them. Right. So if we flip these over, those are not just for decoration. They're actually like pivot points. Right. So some other screens, you know, can be a little bit of a pain to get them set up. Uh, you, you have to fiddle with them. There's all kinds of stuff you have to do here. Here you actually have the pivots on the thing. Right. So when you're set up, you can easily go from horizontal landscape to uh, portrait mode very, very easily just by flipping this thing around. You can do some of those other fiddling type stuff as well. Okay, so like I said, I believe my laptop has two USB-C with display. I think it does, we'll have to check. I know I have one, but I might have two actually, we'll see. I'm gonna start with this in uh, portrait mode just because it's gonna be easier to get them on camera. Or maybe I could do one in portrait and I'll do one in landscape. Yeah, that'll be cool, I like that. That's a cool start. So it's an easy adjust, just go like that. Get it to a size that you're comfortable with. So probably like a little bit bigger, All right? So go like that. Yeah. You can go a little smaller, a little bigger, whatever works for you. And in terms of the tilt, right? Like, so depending on how you're sitting, if I'm sitting lower, that's going to be like that higher. Like if I'm sitting up real high, that goes like that. Right. And then, if, then you can adjust this depending on how much tilt you want. So I think for the camera, so I don't get reflections. I think that's probably the best for the camera, right? Or maybe further down, actually further down. So we're going to go like that. We're gonna adjust this very easily like that. There we go, so that's nice. Okay, so we're gonna go like that there. We're gonna plug this in, I don't know, this one. Right away. So that's the first one, okay. And so we're in kind of uh, the wrong mode here. So we'll go extend, very good. Keep changes, that's that, that's that. So that goes over there, 
right? So it knows which one is which, okay? So it's in the wrong orientation, so you come down here. If you're, oops. So if you're in that mode here, you come down here, and we're gonna be in either portrait or portrait flipped, I'm not sure. Let's take a shot. Portrait. Okay, so that one's good, look at that. You can see that there. So it just works right away. If you don't have two USB-Cs, so my laptop has two USB-Cs that are both full featured, okay? You may not have that in your situation. If that's the case, what you need to do is you could do, for example, one with USB-C, and then maybe your laptop only has one USB-C, but the other one has HDMI, then you can do one of each. So in my case, I can do USB-C, USB-C, because I have that ability. Your laptop may not. It may only have one full function USB-C, and then it has an HDMI, for example. So then you can go here, and you can do one and one. You don't have to do uh, look like that there. You don't have to do um, the same for both like that. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that's so far it's looking pretty good. Pretty good settings. I did change the saturation here and I did that on purpose. Uh, so this one has slightly higher saturation, uh, kind of like it went from 50, I put it like halfway. And this one is kind of on the default just so we can compare them. Uh, this is a fairly saturated screen. Now, um, I like to use this laptop to do this comparison. So there's a couple reasons. One, it's a non-glossy screen and these are both non-glossy. I don't like glossy screens, it's just my thing. Uh, it is a very high color space. This is 100% DCI-P3 color space. Very high color space, uh, which means it's gonna be like rich and bold. These here also look like they have good high color space. Whether they're exactly the same or not as this is not really the point. I mean, you're getting different monitors, right? Like everyone's gonna have a different laptop monitor. They're gonna be slightly different, um, but this is a good monitor, very good monitor. Uh, and so, very good screen. So these are gonna be looking pretty good in comparison to that. And that's, uh, that's telling, the fact that these would even be remotely in the same realm as such a super Halo premium laptop screen like that. That's pretty telling there. Okay, so we're gonna go like that there and we'll get this one loaded up here just so we can do a little comparison. Now this is a DCI-P3 color space and this is uh, something more in the sRGB. I'm not sure exactly how much, but it's more in the sRGB. Um, so there'll be a slightly slight difference between them. Um, that's kind of the point here to kind of show that they're slightly different. Okay. Yeah, so they're not exactly the same tone. This is a little bit more rich. This is, has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it uh, because this is more of an sRGB. The blacks are good between both of them. I'm not having any issues with the blacks there. So, yeah. A little different with the reds because this is a DCI-P3 color space. This will be some degree of NTSC or sRGB. The blues look basically the same. They look a little, yeah, the camera is gonna be a little weird, but they look good. So in my opinion, which is the correct opinion, uh, this is the best laptop screen on the market, period. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous screen. Uh, it's you know non-glossy. I'm not a fan of glossy. Glossy has its place, I guess, in some creative settings, maybe. But like here, look at this. That's a light shining right at the screen. Right, both of them, see that? And look how non-glossy that is. Like that's very impressive. If this was a glossy screen, you wouldn't be able to see anything, that would be brutal. And why does that matter for this? I mean, yeah, it does matter in general, but it matters even more here because these are not necessarily gonna be at the same angle. So, you know, this screen here, you get your laptop set up, maybe there's a light behind you and you can easily set it up so that, you know, there's no reflection off this screen. This one here is at a different angle, right? Cause I'm in the middle, this is now off to the side. So it may be problematic to get all of the screens to be non-reflective towards something that's behind me, but they're not glossy, so it doesn't matter, right? There's no reflection off of them. So that's good, they're a nice matte screen there. They're actually looking pretty darn good, honestly. Like I said, this is the best screen on the market right now, honestly. And so, yeah, the fact that they're even comparable is very impressive. For a portable screen, right, it's pretty impressive. Let's pause that for a sec with that. Now, it does have built-in speakers, both of them, speakers and speakers. So you can actually pick. So if I go like this and I go uh, sound output, Right, so I can do my laptop and I can pick either one. Oh, it actually says left and right. That's cool. I like that. Right and left. It knows because it's cool. Uh, yeah, so I can pick which one I want. So you can have sound on whichever one you want. So that's very cool, the fact that you can do that. Maybe your laptop has crappy speakers. Maybe you want to set it up with I don't know, a Nintendo Switch or something, because remember it has, you know, it can accept HDMI and USB-C and that kind of stuff. So you want to set it up with like a little handheld or something. Like I could set it up with, uh, you know, like a little Legion Go. 
Legion Go with Steam or something like that. Oops, I just turned that on by accident. Um, and you can set that up and plug it into here. And you know, it would be weird if I was using this as like a computer and I had it off to the side, right? Like it's off to the left or something and it's not right in front of me. And then I'm listening to speakers on the like weird off to the side coming out of my little switch type thing or my Steam Deck or whatever it is. Whereas here, you don't, you know, it comes out of here. So it's nice that it has speakers. They may not be the best speakers in the world, but they are speakers and they're actually useful as a result. So now I don't expect, you know, these to be like big, booming speakers, tons of bass. They're coming out of a freaking screen, so. What is it even coming out of? Yeah, they're, they're not very loud, um, but they are speakers and they, they don't sound bad. They're actually, sounding decent they're not like rattly or tinny or hollow or anything uh, they don't have a ton of bass or anything like that and they're not super loud but i mean they actually sound okay so that was actually way better than i expected because i mean you get speakers on these two screens and that's not the point of these things it's, it has nothing to do with i mean it's just kind of a nice add-on to be honest when i'm on just a laptop let's say i only have a laptop i actually find i do a lot of video editing on my laptop but it is actually super annoying I do it for the convenience sake of my laptop, you know, being a laptop, but I do find it super annoying. And the reason is because I have to constantly flip between things. So if I'm coming back and I'm looking at my video files, right? Like there's a different video, but okay, let's bring that in here. Let's go back. Let's bring that in here. Let's go back. I also have videos that I work on where I bring up data sheets. So I bring up you know, I bring up like a data sheet or something like this, like this is empty. But you know, if I'm working on like a GPU test, right? GP, GPU test video or a game testing video or something like that. And I have FPS spreadsheets and I have, you know, all the data here, you know, that's super annoying. Cause you know, I have to constantly flip back and forth. It drives me, it actually drives me bananas to be honest. So being able to go like that and slap that over there, right? Have my videos over here, my, my, my auxiliary data over here, for example, have the video that I'm working on over here, and then maybe like, you know, my auxiliary files, uh, you know, you can set up whichever screen you want, but I'm just gonna have this in portrait mode for now. And like that, like how glorious is that? Having your actual files over here, maybe some auxiliary stuff, I could split this, right? Like, it doesn't have to be like that. I can come up here and I can say, I only want it to be half, right? Something like that, boom, boom. And then over here, I could, I don't know, just, it doesn't matter. Just bring in something else over here that I'm working on, whatever. Voila. A six dual monitor setup, 15.6. Yeah, so like I also have like like research that I'm doing during a video, like especially if I'm working on, you know, like a screen review or a laptop review or something like that. Like I legitimately need to have the information if I'm trying to put it on screen or something. Like it's just nice to have it. So this is kind of like the ultimate like video editing setup here where you have, you know, one portrait mode or one in landscape mode, you know, have a website out here or whatever. Over here, I can have my Excel spreadsheet with my data that I'm working on, my FPS, all that kind of stuff, my video files up here. Like how freaking glorious. There we go. Keep changes. And they have to be stacked, which one's which. Hit identify, three on the top, two on the bottom. Like that. Yeah, this is so cool. Like that, boom, okay. And now look at that. Bring that a little closer so it's not easier to film. Look how sick that is. That's, now that's really cool. The other way is more like conventional, I guess. You know, you have it hooked up to the laptop, one extra screen on the right, for example, one portrait. That's more like standard, right? And you don't need a lot of footprint that way. This, you know, obviously you need more footprint. So, you know, if you're on like a train or a plane or something like that, I mean, there's different ways you could set it up. It would be a little like cumbersome. If you're in a coffee shop or something, like you can have it set up like this with the standard screen coming out of each way. And one of the benefits of that is you actually don't have any extra footprint. So the footprint is here on the laptop itself. There's a little tiny bit behind with the actual stand here, but the screens coming out of both sides are actually, they, they weren't touching the desk, right? So I didn't need extra desk. So if you had a small little desk area, um, but you're okay to float them off to the side, that would be totally fine. Now here you do need obviously some more desk space, right? For this setup here, definitely need some more desk space because you have the computer and computer one. Uh, but look how freaking cool that is. That's really cool to me, right? So yeah, it's really cool. This is a very good product. Honestly, it's a very good product. It's very interesting and it's different. 
Um, I, I really like this one actually. So um, yeah, check it out. I, I'll see if I can find some affiliate links uh, through like, I don't know, Amazon or AliExpress or something. Um, I'll put the direct website links as well. I don't have any affiliation with them. So they'll just be direct and buy from them. Uh, but I can also find some maybe affiliate links for like Amazon or something like that. 